Hi, this is Jenny from Project Decor, and today I'm going to teach you how to create your own design board. Before you start, click on Browse to find items you want to add to your board. Simply click on Tear It, and you'll be able to access these items in, the, in your tear box in the next step. The easiest way to create a design board is to select a template or a background. The first option is a blank canvas, and here you can place items wherever you'd like. The other templates have preset backgrounds and boxes where you can drag and drop items. This helps you organize your board and makes the process a bit easier if you're not a pro just yet. So click on View All to see all the options for templates and choose one that works best for you. Great, now I usually start by uploading an inspirational image. You can do this by double clicking on whichever box you want the photo to appear in. This feature is great for uploading inspiration photos or a photo of the room you're designing for. You can pull any item, any image from your desktop as long as it's a JPEG or a PNG file. Templates are super easy and fun and now all you have to do is go over to your tear box and pull the items in from your tear box into the template. Keep in mind you can only add one item into the box of the template. Simply click on the item and drag it over on top of the box that you want to drop it in and go ahead and do that for all of the items in your tear box. Bring in my chandelier and my couch. Great, now everything's in place. My board is looking a little bit sad. All of the items are a bit too small and there's too much white space everywhere. So one way to fix this is to select your items, start with one, and look up on your toolbar and you can resize the item by moving the lever to the right to increase the size and the left to decrease the size. I think it's best to make each item as big as they possibly can be within the square. It makes your board a little bit more exciting. And let's resize my couch. And you can also do the same thing for your inspirational image. Great. Now, if you changed your mind about an item that you've already added to your board, it's not too late to switch it out for another one. All you have to do is select the item, go back up to your top toolbar, and click on Delete. And then if you look over to the right on the fourth tab, you can continue to browse products to find the perfect item for your board. To narrow my search, I'm going to type in Throws in my search bar since I know I'm going to want a blanket for my board. And you can add the item the same way you did with the items from your tear box. You just drag it over onto the template. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. There, it looks good. I think we're ready to give our board a title. So if you look up on the left-hand side of your board, you can click here to name and give your board a creative title. I'm going to name mine Pretty Pastels. and then just click on OK and be sure to save your board. You go to your bottom toolbar and just click on this save icon. So here you can share your board on Facebook, Twitter, or Pinterest and now if you're ready to purchase some of these items you can access your board by going to my project and design boards and simply select the board that you would like to view. And this will give you a list of all of the items that you've used in your board. And from here you can share it through email or buy it. And that's really all you need to know about creating your own design board. If you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to contact the Project Decor design team at support at projectdecor.com. Thanks all. Happy creating.